Hey everybody, welcome back to the Burton Burger Podcast, episode 142 Smackaroos. Thank you for chilling and vibing with us here on YouTube, Spotify, wherever else you decide to listen. I'm Burger, with me is Cousin Bert. Yes. We are Burton Burger. So we got uh, a lot of stuff to chat about. First of all, uh, Bert and I had our Burton Burger Bowl in fantasy recently. Oh, yeah. And once again, Bert lost. I don't think I've ever won. By quite a lot, I want to say, too. Yeah. It was 92 to 127. Uh, now, the the cherry on top is Bert's first round pick. What, what is his fucking name? Javante Williams. Tore his ACL and his LCL against my Raiders. Yes. Literally, his leg fell off. It might as well have, yeah. It's literally still out there. Yeah. And that really fucked Bert. He only got Bert three points. Yep. However, Bert declined a trade from me that morning that Javante lost his leg. Mm-hmm. That included players that helped me get the dub over Bert. So... It was a pretty big blow away. I mean, it wasn't going to make too much of a difference. Yeah. But uh, Bert could have saved himself big time here if he accepted that trade. And he waited it for it for a long time. I did, yeah. He waited on it. I, I definitely overpaid. I was going to overpay for him. And for some reason, he, he didn't take it. So Bert lost. But we'll be going against each other later on this season because we're in the same division. Mm-hmm. Better luck next time, Ka. I'm going to need it. So. I have had none as of yet, so. These are really gross fucking, your team did not do well. You have a quarterback that didn't put up 13 points. Henry did well. Can't say anything about that. Javante Williams lost fucking like Jalen Waddle uh, finally didn't do well. I don't know why you have Brandon Ayuk out there. Um, Darren Waller's been kind of shitting the bed. Lazard had a nice surprising game. Defense, 11 points. We'll take that, and your kicker got five. So these are, like, really low-scoring points. Oh, mm-hmm. and Cordero Patterson's on the IR as well. Yep, he is. Also tried to trade for him. So I have... I actually tried to trade Burt, a quarterback called Russell Wilson, who put up 27.48 points last week. So if Burt had Russell Wilson and if he had the trade that I sent him, I think he could have beat me. I would have literally given you the tools to beat me. So I would have been fucking pissed. Yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Unfortunately, whenever I get trades from you or my cousin, I automatically assume that I'm getting fucked every time. So, uh, and also I make the mistake. I also make the mistake. I don't fuck people over in my trades. Of sending the trade. Well, you say you win all of them. So that's no shit. Close to fucking. I don't know why people get so mad about that. (laughs) Why would I not win the trade? Why would I send you a trade for me to lose it? I don't understand the logic with that. You're saying that you're overpaid. So that means if I took that trade, then you would have lost. Yeah. No. Like I was really overpaying for him. Doesn't that go against what you said? I don't remember. Did I win the trades? I mean, I was overpaying for him. I was going off of a hunch and everything like that. So, no, it doesn't. Oh, okay. I just don't understand why people are like, I don't want to trade with you because you always win your trades. Oh, my oh, bad, yeah. Bert. Let me give you my <laughs> kicker for, uh, or l- l- let me get your kicker for Saquon Barkley and Devontae yeah. Adams. Let's balance it out. Like, you guys are so fucking stupid. Like, why is it so bad that the like someone wins a trade? A trade well, should be sixty whole... forty. A trade should be fifty one forty nine. I don't understand why it's so bad when someone wins a fucking trade. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's probably because you could be the one. Like I could be the one who's getting the advantage. So I should be looking for other people that I can get the points over on. But I don't really. Yeah, look which for was it this last trade. Yeah. Especially, the, I was really surprised you didn't take the Cordero Patterson for Russell Wilson one. I like Cordero Patterson though. Homie was going, he was going fucking hard. Like, you were going for my fucking dirty little flex. I'm like, damn, nah, I need Cordero. I was going for depth on my bench per play, my bench oh, I, players. Oh, he's my flex, though. And when I had you would have in. your starting quarterback for the rest of the season. Yeah, I don't know. Hindsight, I guess. I'm never going to be good. I always get yelled at every I season. I don't even think it was back. hindsight. It was definitely something you should have took. Isn't that a starting quarterback is? for no? Because hindsight, it's like oh, he blew his uh, ACL, so I shouldn't have taken it, kind of thing. 
But this was a starting quarterback for a flex player. Like, there's no hindsight in that. I didn't really have much else. I guess I had actually, like, mid You can replace a flex. It's very hard to replace a starting quarterback in fantasy. Yeah, I guess probably a, a starting quarterback. For some reason, I thought when I saw Russell Wilson, he didn't really have great points at the beginning, but... It's also week four, again. I know, I know, but it's a new team. It's a new situation. Well, apparently he's got it figured out. He just dropped 30. Yeah, that's, again, new information. Yeah, like it was just a garbage player for a fucking starting <laughs> yeah. quarterback for you, and you didn't take it. So yeah. You deserve these IR things, honestly. That's fine, that's fine. For the amount of beautiful trades I've sent you, and a nice, beautiful present with a bow on top that you haven't accepted... It's mainly from me going off of these uh, quote-unquote hunches, I guess. Like, damn, I don't know. Yeah, well, you should stop doing that and just go off of logic. Yeah, I guess I just can't do that anymore. I don't know what to tell you. Fantasy is just fucking depressing. Tell me. I'm fine with it. I'm I'm 3-1, and and I don't have two players on my team that are on the IR. I mean, I'm fine. There's no issue with me. Sure. Now, what you need to tell yourself, I don't know what you're going to tell yourself off of that. I'm not the one losing this situation here. I'm just saying how fucking gay you are. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So, I told you to listen to a guy called Boy With Uke. I see you checked him out a little bit on Spotify. Yeah, glad you're stalking me. Fucking pervert. I had Spotify open, and I'm following you on Spotify. Pervert. So, stalking would be I went out of my way to look you up. Trust me, Bert, I, I got a me. lot better shit I could be doing in my life wondering than uh, <laughs> sitting there wondering, I wonder what fucking Bert's listening to right now. I, I know, know you think like, like, like I like you as much as you like <laughs> your roommates, but uh, I don't. So what did you think of his uh, music? It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's really cool. So he is pretty big on TikTok. He got super viral on TikTok. Yeah, he only has like, like I looked him up on YouTube first and he only has like a year worth of, like 11 months worth of, not 11 wor- we- months worth of content, but he's only been doing this for 11 months. So, Well, YouTube he has. Yeah, that's like the, his music. Like fucking like live uh, or whatever. Like, our, like yeah, he's been doing it longer than a year. Oh. Um, yeah, his I I don't I don't know. I just wasn't expecting you to look up a musician on YouTube first. Oh, I didn't know if it was a musician or what it was. I knew he was on TikTok, so I just kind of assumed he was only on TikTok. So I looked up YouTube because I don't use TikTok. So I just upload. I don't really like Listen to a it. couple of songs by Boy With Uke. I thought you said you should look into Boy With Uke. Listen to a couple of songs by Boy With Uke. Oh. You didn't know he was a musician? Yeah. I figured he was some fag trying to get big on TikTok. I, I really didn't expect him to have a Spotify. When I saw you had a Spotify, I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Listen to a couple of songs. That's like you asking me to, hey, you know, Bert, you should really want like listen to some Demi Lovato. Like, why would you just ask me to watch random music or listen to random music? Like, well, I could because see... I said I'll, <laughs> on the very next sentence, I'll talk about him tonight on the podcast. <laughs> yeah, just like... a couple so you get an idea. So let's break down what just happened here. First of all, I told you to listen to some guy's music, and you're like, I didn't know he was a musician. Well, Second, you said, yeah. why would you tell me to listen to someone out of the blue? And then literally the next sentence after the message is why I told you to listen to somebody out of the blue. Yeah, it's not that literal, though. It's more why is that a, that a like we've never done this before. I'm not saying we can't do new things. I'm just saying it's. I've told you to check out plenty of things before oh, yeah, the like, podcast. Yeah, like Elvis and so, like other so, like musical stuff like that. So yeah, we have done this before. Huh. You just said we haven't done this before, and I said yes, we have. And well, you're like, well, yeah. Well, it's not like a it's not a thing that we do. I don't know. There's a ton of stuff you've told me to look up video game stuff before we watch or talk about <laughs> Two it. On the years podcast. ago. <laughs> So we, Bert, why are you acting like it's so weird? I'm like, hey, I got something I want to talk about on the podcast. Check it out a little bit so you know what I'm talking about. Like, why are you acting like that's like I just asked if I could well, fuck no, your I'm just, retarded brother. I'm just, I'm, I'm just pointing out. I that also it's weird. gave you like, and and also like the the reason why I wanted you to listen to him, I was about to talk about right now. Yeah. So you're like you're getting all defensive. Like, why the fuck would I do that? That was such a stupid <laughs> thing. We've never done that before. 
I don't know. You sound like the angry one to me, buddy. Because you're, you're like, I, I'm amazed at how stupid you can possibly be. Like you said, you didn't know it was a singer, and then you were wondering well, why no, I no. was telling you to do this, and I a told you why. A legitimate musician. I apologize. I do not articulate all of my thoughts with doctoral precision. Okay. It doesn't require doctoral precision. It can I like misspeak. literally require first grade precision, and you would understand the fucking question. I misspeak, and you require very thorough explanation of shit. I and do. I it misspeak, sounds like you were the one that just needed the fucking with, thorough position of and it. And you run with what I say and get pissy rather than ask for clarification, which you were I asked for really clarification. You're the one that's not asking you for were it. You're really good at it. But recently. I'm good at asking for clarification. Yes, instead of going immediately into rage monster mode. Now, when you have a bunch of people telling you how fucking wrong you are and how stupid you are, do you do you learn from that at all or no? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. I definitely don't. Okay. Probably should, but... So anyways, I said listen to a couple of songs by Boy With Uke, and you went to YouTube. Cool. Um, he's a very popular person on TikTok. Like he has millions of followers and he's been doing this TikTok thing for a while where he makes like one minute songs. And I fucking love this guy. Like I really enjoy his music. Mm -hmm. It's not really your cup of tea, but I really enjoy it. It definitely is, but not, well, I, it's very different than, um, bring me the horizon and slipknot and shit. So I, Cool. I mean, Bird's this one is, of those people no. that like I love all music. I don't no, have this any is fucking the kind of favorites. Stuff that it's 100% I used to listen to music. a lot. So, um, I've been listening to the shit out of this guy and we follow him on talk. Mm-hmm. And he goes live a lot and nobody knows this guy's name. Nobody knows what he looks like or anything like that. He's one of those anonymous singers, kind of like Marshmallow was and everything. Yep. And uh he was going he went live yesterday and it's just like his chest down and uh, he's called Boy with Uke because he plays a ukulele. Silly. Don't worry. Took me a minute to figure that one out, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it really did. Yeah, that was definitely a Burt moment. Huh. Well, he does, like, not auto-tune, but he has a lot of, like, background mixed stuff into his songs, so. Yeah, kind like, It's kind of like Emancipator but... if there was music with it, you know? it's It's like a... Or singing with it, I mean. I don't know. But anyways, he was doing this thing on live, and I left, and I came back, and he was just reading people's names. I don't know why he was doing that. Maybe he was saying, like, weird names or something. Mm Mm-hmm. And I put Burton Burger, and boy with Uke said Burton Burger. Hi. He said Burton Burger. (laughs) His friend said Bert a couple of times, because I just said Bert. Nice. And then I said Burton Burger, and then he said Burton Burger. Like, he said it right. He said it perfect. I was so fucking excited. Confirmed he's a fan. He's a fan. You can come on, boy, with you. We would fucking love to have you. We baited him. Well, you baited yeah. him, specifically. Yeah. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> That's he pretty gave cool. us a shout-out. I should have recorded it so I could <laughs> put that in a highlight video or something. <laughs> like- Oh, you're saying names? Yeah, my name is Hey Sumner Burger. <laughs> YouTube, Spotify, <laughs> TikTok page. Guys, put weird names down there. Who the fuck is? <laughs> Hi, guys. This is Boy With Uke, and I fucking love Burton Burger, and Burger has a huge fucking cock. <laughs> exactly. That would be the play. Mm-hmm. Now, if he's got a good sense of humor, he might like it. He definitely does. He does. That's good. He, he does have a good sense of humor, yeah. That's important. He's just a really laid back guy. Like he'll like do his concerts in pajamas and shit with his little mask on and everything. His cute little mask. He has like a sweatshirt and jammies. Hell yeah. What a dude. I think he's like twenty one too. Like he's really fucking young. Hmm. That's gonna be crazy. So, yeah, I'm no seriously. Hmm. He's cool. Yeah. So now you can hear that nice Chris sauce voice. Imagine it saying Burton Burger because it actually is out there, ladies and gents. Isn't that like the weirdest thing? Yeah. <laughs> like most people are like, say Chris, you know, like say Evan, say just all these yeah. fucking names and shit. But it's like, yo, it's only one. Well, 
There's like some weird little kid that's Burton Burger or some gay shit. It's and Phineas but. and Ferb, and it's Burton. They don't spell it even close to the same way we do. It's Burton, B U R T O N, like Tim Burton. Yeah, well, that's Burton Burger. Yeah, very very close. And the funny thing is, is like we totally did not mean to fucking do that either. Nope. Happy little accident. I mean, it's it's not even our thing, too. I said it was from my friend's, like, old Instagram account that is no longer that <laughs> anymore. So it's literally our baby now. Actually perfect. Oh, our little baby. But I, I have looked up, like, Burton Burger before, and it's amazing, like, the random accounts that are very close to it. Yeah, we've definitely gotten to the point where you can type it into YouTube, and it actually is, like, the first couple of mm-hmm. suggested things. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It'd be like Burton Burger, Uncle Scott. Oh, exactly. That, that'd be fucking cool. Conker's always at the top of my list when I search it. It's yeah, cool. that motherfucker hasn't been active in quite some time. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's take a trip down memory lane, <laughs> oh, Bert. Let's look at our guests and see what they're fucking up to. I've kind of thinking there's a Burton Burger co- uh, 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 curse. The kiss of death. Yeah, literally, <laughs> so many people that have came on here don't do anything anymore. Nope. Oof. Let's see. Playlist and guest, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That'll have all the channels on it. You can just go right there. Uh, the last one was that last one added to this playlist was Sydney Siegel. So while I read these out, maybe you can uh, update for a second. Uh, um, okay. Our first guest was uh, doing Vine ASMR. He no longer is active. Uh, our second one was I Scare. He is no longer active on iFunny. Highlight Heaven, Urinating Tree, Five Point Vids. They are fine. Los Angeles, I think uh, Jeremy's still doing his magic thing. Yeah. Um, Survivor Quotes X, my boy Steven. Um, he uh, He's doing well on Twitter. David Derry. Holy shit. Yeah, I don't think he's <laughs> active anymore. I haven't seen him in the feed. Yeah, Doug and there. Anthony, they're fine. Chicken Nuggy, he went through like a midlife fucking crisis. I don't know what the fuck happened with old Nuggy. Love that dude. Um, Retrospect, I think he's fine. Spruce Goose, he's, he actually went on the up since coming on B&B, so I think Hell we... Yeah. We made Spruce Goose, yeah, JK. Info <laughs> Checker went on a huge, huge, huge hiatus, like for years, where he didn't post much, and he's starting to come back a little bit. Hmm. Latin Cat, uh, I mean, she's a doctor now, so she doesn't stream as much anymore. Not bigger and better things to do. Yeah, Joey and Conker both have not uploaded anything in quite some time. Damn. Uh, Marvel moments. He was kind of on the down low. He came in. He was sad. I remember that. He was so sad on his podcast, on the podcast. He's like, they keep deleting my shit. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, on here? Yeah. I know you're talking about, yeah. Knock bump. Yeah, he doesn't post anymore. Nope. And I funny G.I. Joel, he's going strong. And Sydney's some survivors, so. She, uh, like, I don't can you do bad? And he <laughs> made it on Survivor. It literally can't get worse than that. You mean gooder? It can't get gooder. Yeah. Okay. Barrick, he's still doing stuff. He's kind of died off of TikTok a little bit, but I think he just kind of stopped posting stuff like everybody else. I saw him on live the other day, though. Oh, yeah. I see. I have yeah, on Twitter. I see him all the time. Being and silly. I think... Uh, Disc Golf Boy still does fine. Blanking out his name. Billy. Thumber Billy, yeah. Thumber Billy. And then, of course, Coach Wade and fucking Blake. They're doing good. Fuck yeah. So, yeah, I don't think we have good odds on uh, people coming on our show. You come here and your fucking show dies. <laughs> you're toast. Yeah, you're fucked, dude. Keeping that out of the highlight clip for sure. <laughs> we need to fall so advertised to the guests. Yeah, seriously. Yes. Tater told me the other day that you've been doing good with your editing where you say something, and then five minutes later you're like, I didn't say that, and then you rewind it to yeah. show that you did actually say that. Yeah. You didn't tell me you were doing that. You usually tell me all the cute stuff that you do. Yeah, I did, I did it like once or twice because it was relevant for the episode, but... I love that last title that you gave. <laughs> yeah. Yet again, I thought it was relevant. 
Mm-hmm. It was topical. Mm-hmm. No, you did good with that. Yeah, you always see those on YouTube, like, man stares in the camera for exactly one hour and 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. And it's like, <laughs> burn burger bitch and moan for an hour and 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Um, I have another exciting adventure update I can update you guys on, but I'm I'm ready for you to That's good. talk about something. Yeah. I I also had a well I um I also had a fun weekend. Um I I had I went home. I do like a, a, a whatever. I, um uh You come home um, every other week and eat dinner with pops. Everyone has it fucking figured out by now. Bert. Yeah, yeah. I haven't talked in so long. What the hell? I think we just bitched all last episode. I'm out of story time. <laughs> all right. So I'm back home. I'm chilling. I just Surprise. bought a new game. It's like this fucking weird little cult. It's called Cult of the Lamb. It's pretty cool. It's a little game. You get to do like some weird Animal Crossing kind of shit. So I was like so all so excited all week. I got absolutely ass fucked by tests last week. Like every class. Not only test. <laughs> exactly. IRL too. Mm-hmm. Uh, just the whole shebang. Last week was mm-hmm. tough. And I was just looking forward. I like I even took Thursday off. Usually I come home on Thursday night and hang out with the fam, get some dinner, chill. Eat dinner with pops. Eat dinner with pops on Thursday, chill. But this time I took Thursday off. I stayed back at college. I went Friday. Hung out with you guys. And then Saturday, I'm like, okay, now I get to actually just fucking slump around. I want to have my PJs on, and I want to play my weird lamb game. Should have stayed home if you wanted to do that. <laughs> I should have. So then I I get in the fucking, my brother, he comes up. He's like, Bert, Bert, I need you really bad. I, I, I need to go buy this fucking shitty dog shit ass dog water part for my truck. My rusty old dog shit truck. And I really need you to come help me pick it up because it's a fucking truck bed. It's like the whole ass back of a truck. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, so I don't know why he's inviting me because I'm a pussy Mm -hmm. and I can't pick shit up for shit. Should have asked your mom to come help. Uh huh. Should have asked our grandmother that passed away. (laughs) I know. Better chance for her to help (laughs) out. (laughs) Yeah. That would, they'd have better odds. Yeah, it was fucking dog shit. So I'm just like, okay, okay. I'm like, so then uh, deep down, I'm like, okay, Bert, do you really have to be a loser and just sit at home, just jerk off and fucking play a lamb game? No, fuck it, why not? Let's go on a little adventure with my brother. So I fucking suit up, I get ready to go. And the most annoying part about the, well... One yeah, of the you're annoying wrong. Parts. Whatever you're about to say isn't correct. <laughs> One of the annoying parts about this there trip go. is that I had to drive. Okay, so I have to drive, like, however long. It doesn't matter to get home. No, I guess it does matter. I have to drive, like, an hour and a half to get home. And we have to drive to pick up my brother's part to my fucking town for college. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm driving back on fucking Thursday. Or I'm, I drive back on Friday. My brother's like, oh, we need to go buy this thing on Saturday. So we drive all the way down for a fucking hour and come back. I'm like, okay, this is going to be a fucking nightmare. So I'm bitching the whole time. And we're like a fucking hour in. We're, tw- or we're 20, 30 minutes away. And I'm leaning back. I sit like a real asshole. Like I have my fucking legs crossed and shit. Like I'm a dickhead in the car. And Not really. That's how most people are. They lean back and just chill when they're the passenger. Oh, really? Yeah, I know you oh, think shit. you're real special with that, but... Yeah, I, I, I know, I just feel bad, because like, I'm always getting people's cars dirty with my fucking dirty shoes and shit. Yeah, but. no one gives a shit. But what happens is, and I, I'm leaning back, and I'm like, oh shit, I, like, I'm like, I'm trying to crack my back or some shit, I'm leaning back, and I hear, boom! I'm like, oh shit, I think I broke the chair or something, I'm leaning back to check to make sure I didn't break it. My brother's fucking looking at both of me, he's like, oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on? And the trailer's starting to go all kitty wampus in the back. I'm like, dude, we're literally 20 minutes away. There's no fucking way that that that, that this is happening right now. We're using my dad's truck, so there's nothing wrong on the truck. You know, the trailer's fucked. We go back, check the trailer. The goddamn tire popped. 
Mm-hmm. Like, okay, cool, cool, cool. This is great. And then, of course, I I get in the car, talk to my brother. I'm like, you fucking cocksucker. And then we hear the sirens, cocksucker, motherfucking cops are here. They pull up like almost immediately. Like it was it was funny. So they're in there. They're like, oh hey, Burton, Burton, Bert's cousin. Wait, Burton, Bert's brother. What's up? And he needed our IDs for some reason. I'm like, this is weird. I don't want to give my fucking ID to a cop. What the fuck is this? Bert gets shot by local police. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, what the fuck? I didn't want to give him my ID, but it's like, okay, sure. So then the, the fucking cop's like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I guess uh, if you can't find anybody to tow you or do whatever to, to get take care of the trailer, because we were renting a fucking trailer from U-Haul, if that's a big thing i'm sure it is i don't know if it's yeah local. you'll have to look it up i'll have to look it up so that might be, have been a beep but it was just like the whole thing like my world's falling apart i'm like okay Bert, i could have been back playing your world's are falling game. apart because you can't go home and eat dinner with pops and play a fucking rabbit game or whatever yeah, it's play called. Liam game i'm freaking out I'm like all right all right but i'm like i'm used to this most times whenever i get into the car with one of my family members for a road trip Anything that could go wrong goes fucking absolute upside down. And we call the fucking company that we're renting the trailer from. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, just just call this number and we'll get a guy to come and try and repair the trailer. We call him and it has to be a f- it's uh, the, the people to repair. It it's like prank. it's like Danny's auto repair. Thank you for calling Danny's yeah. auto repair. And guess where they are from? Our fucking hometown. Past our hometown. It took an hour. Well, it said an hour and 30 minutes for them to get here, which is our fucking drive. Like, oh, cool. And it took them a little over two hours to get there. Totally cool. Mm-hmm. So we leave it like it was like one o'clock. We get to we break down at two thirty. And we didn't get back on the road until 6.30. Nice. And then we pull in like, oh, my God, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm going to cry. I know. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I know. It's coming back up. <laughs> we fucking punched this stupid hick fuck's address into in the, the GPS. <laughs> and, and like, you know the town where my college is in? Mm-hmm. And it's, like, kind of a shithole. Yep. This was like the armpit of the shithole. Sure. And we pull into this guy's place. My brother's like, Lucky to you, I have an armpit fetish. <laughs> yeah. Watch this. Mm. Yeah. My brother's like, Yeah, so I'm going to put money that this guy has one of the craziest, <laughs> not lisps, uh, uh, speech impediments of all time. <laughs> we get wow. out. And this guy. Have you heard your brother talk? <laughs> yeah, I have. Not the one that has problems, like yeah. your literal fucking one you're sitting with. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's uh he's he he's been through it, I guess. Buying random farts because we got out and this guy sounded like he was from the fucking south. Like very from the south. And this guy he's like, he's got this weird fucking thing going on. He's just got truck parts and fucking broken down tractors and shit everywhere. It's just like, oh my God, there's cat toys on the ground and just some stray cats. It's like, this is really, this is what's happening. Stray cats, huh? That's where you draw the line. Stray cats. Yeah, I was just thinking like, yeah, I guess that's not too crazy, but. Yeah, it's really not. I don't go out. Man, there I saw a stray cat and I'm like, oh Lord. Man, I know that's the last thing on my list. Like, comma. And stray cats. Yeah, like any city ever. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was it was pretty sketch, though, and it was dark by the time he fucking loaded this thing up. But, like, yeah, I was t- absolutely fucking useless. Like, I really didn't even need to go. I could have told you that. I'm pulling, like, and I, I have this thing where I, I hold on. Like, I don't get a good enough grip, and I, like, pull the... I didn't pull a muscle, but... I, my fingertips were fucked and my forearms were like fucked from not holding it properly. Oh my God. I don't even yeah. want to hear you fucking talk anymore. <laughs> I know it was bad. Your fingertips are fucked, huh? But it's not, no, it's not like my fingertips. It's like I hold it with my fingertips and it stretches all the muscles in my forearm. 
You're so gay. And I get like pulled and all fucked up. Yeah. And then the next day we had to go out and get breakfast and my dad literally pulled the entire truck bed out by himself. Like he picked it up and t- took it out and I'm like, damn, my dad's crazy. Then I asked him, he's like, yeah, Bert, that was uh, maybe 200 pounds. I'm like, oh, that's great. So it's pretty obvious your brother just wanted you to tag along with him and hang out. Yeah, yeah. Which, well, I mean, would have been great. I mean, I we still had fun, but... It would have been great if it was uh, maybe a shorter, shorter. Would have been great if I don't know the tire didn't pop, but I'm glad like you were concerned about that. Yeah, yeah, that would have been pretty cool. It was fine that the tire popped. The only issue was is that it took forever. That's where I drew the line of not having fun anymore. Yeah, I could be no. sucking Sue off over a lamb game, and here I am. Yeah, I'm usually good with that kind of stuff, though. Like I, I think it's. Like, I, I could see you getting, like, actually pissed off. Like, if you went with my brother and that shit happened, like, you'd be fuming. Probably not. Oh. Well, you... Uh, okay. Um. I mean, maybe if I had, like, a plan to meet the President of the United States afterwards or something, but... Oh, I see. I don't know. I'd probably be like, wow, this is gay. Yeah. Especially yeah, I if, if I was, like, just tacking along. <laughs> yeah. I think your brother would be the one that would be more upset. More pissed, yeah. I mean, this is more funny. That, that's what I'm saying. It's just gay. Yeah. All right, mid story. Not too bad. Yeah. No, it was it was it was it was yeah. It was a good one. No, I liked it, yeah. I don't know if it was a good one, but I, it was alright. Yeah, I probably could have shortened some stuff up, but Or made it more exciting. I was thinking actually the opposite. You could have Yeah, like when I got some there, theatrics I mean, to it. Like, yeah, there was definitely still the threat of death and all that, but, you know. Threat of death by sitting on the side of the road with a pop trailer tire? Oh, no. Once we got to the fucking Hicks house. Once we got to the Hick house, it was kind of like, mm. <laughs> That's judgmental, Bert, don't you think? Correct. Yes. Yes, I do. So, me and my brother went yes. down and, and visited my grandpa last weekend. And my grandpa lives like four hours away. He does road construction. So he lives in this fucking huge city. And he's been doing this for 50 fucking years. So we went down there and we spent the weekend with him. And my brother and I um, meet him at his motel that he stays at while he's working. And it's a pretty fucking dumpy motel. Perfect. And my grandpa's got a garbage can in front of outside of his house with his white undies in it hey that was a good pick <laughs> like you fucking around and then i totally forgot what you were out doing like yeah nope, that's real and I, I took a picture saying papa threw his undies away yeah and Fuckin i'm um, not cleaning these <laughs> yeah that was shit on on. Underwear. so many times i think i asked him out. i was like why the fuck do you have underwear in the garbage he's like don't want them anymore Something like that. Yeah. And my grandpa, me and my brother get in. He's like, all right, so there's a pizza place next door. We're going to go there for dinner. And downtown, there's a show. And when my grandpa says show, he means the movie theater. Ah. So he says, zap it in your phone to see what they're playing. Mm Mm-hmm. And he says the name of the street it's on. So let's just say the name of the street was fucking Lincoln Avenue or something. Yeah. And I said, which movie theater is it? And he's like, it's on Lincoln Avenue. So I, I type in movie theaters. And again, we're in a really big city. So movie it's movie theater galore right now. Mm-hmm. And I I was like, oh, no, no, not, not Lincoln Avenue. No. Oh, Lincoln Avenue. Show my grandpa a picture. And I said, is this it? And he says, yep. I said, all right. So I look at the show times. Remember that part of the story. Okay. That he looked at the theater and confirmed it. Now, you might be confused 10 minutes from now, and then we argue for 30 minutes, but because I learned my lesson with you last week, Bert. Perfect. That is good. Um, Somebody has to, because you know I won't. So, uh, so I'm looking at show times, and I'm like, well, there's bros. It's about two gay guys. And my grandpa's like, nope. Yes, please. And then I'm like, oh, there's Smile. It's this really fucking scary movie. No, we're, we're not going to do that. And he's like, maybe. 
I'm like, yeah, whatever. Uh, there's the woman king. It's about this uh, ancient African warlord woman that's a king. And I'm like, oh, yeah, like my grandpa's going to like this. He's like, maybe. That sounds good. I'm like, are you gay? And he's like, that one or the scary one? And I'm like, no, no, like, we're not no, doing the scary can't. one because <laughs> it's not like Michael Myers or a weirdo runs around with a knife and kills people. Like, this is a genuine horror movie. Have you seen trailers Maybe. for Smile, Bert? Um, no, I haven't. Yeah, look up a trailer right now and watch it while uh, I describe this. No. You don't have to have the volume on. You can just you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. So d- just just do it real quick while while I'm telling the story. So, um, we we decide on the scary movie, and this is one that I wanted to see. Like I actually wanted to see it. I was going to take my brother, but uh, my grandpa said, "No, let's do it." I'm like, "Fuck, okay." So we go, we get our pizza, just the three of us, and then we go downtown, and we walk around downtown for a bit, and he's showing us all of this stuff and everything, and my grandpa loves to show off the town he's from. Hell yeah. That's the kind of shit that I do if I went Uh, outside and I knew where things were. We were walking around, and we see the movie theater and everything. And we walk by the movie theater, and I was like, oh, it's kind of early. Can we walk around a little bit more? He's like, sure, there's not a whole lot more to look at, but we can. We walk by, and I look up, and I don't see our movie on the outside of the building. So I'm like, huh, interesting. All right. So I'm starting to pull my phone out and Google, and we walk back towards the movie theater. And I'm like, hey, this isn't the right theater. And he's like, no, this is it. This is Lincoln Avenue one. And I'm like, no, I'm telling you, this isn't it. This, First of all, it doesn't have our fucking movie up there. And second of all, the last fucking movie was at 7.30, and it's fucking 8.45. And yeah. my grandpa's like those old-timer people where they just like just walk into closed businesses and shit like that, and they don't give a fuck, and fuck you guys. You can wait on me and all of that stuff. Mm-hmm. So he's like trying to get into this theater that's closed. And I'm like, I'm telling you right now, that is not the theater we're supposed to fucking be at. And I I look up the theater that we were supposed to be at, and it was only five minutes away. It was three miles away. Mm-hmm. So we hop in the car, and we drive down to the theater, and it's packed outside. Like, it's there's the, the parking lot's full. So we, we find the parking spot, and we go in. There's a big line to get your tickets and stuff. Mm-hmm. Bert, I'm not racist. I've lived with multiple colored folk. It's usually what racist people say before they're about to be racist. I got good friends that are <laughs> not in white. Uh-huh. We were the only white people in this entire building that was packed with black people. Uh-huh. I get and, ah, uh, man... My brother and my grandpa just shut right down, and they didn't have a lot to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. That's it hilarious. Big line of people. Everyone in front of us black. All the workers are black. Everyone behind us is black. I thought I saw two white people coming, but I think they were Mexican or Middle Eastern or something. Ah. Uh, Not our breed or whatever it is. Um, right. And again, like, I don't, that shit doesn't really bother me, but when, when you're the only ones in a fucking theater full of (laughs) people from, uh, that are, that aren't from around here, I guess Mm -hmm. it was pretty fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. They were nice. They were friendly. And I'm not, no, it's nothing against black people. It's a bunch of fucking Japanese people. I'd do the same fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, it was, it was really fuck. I mean, and yeah, I'm with goes. my grandpa, <laughs> first of all. Like, I'm <laughs> some old timer here. Yeah. So we go up and we get our tickets and then we sit in the movie theater. And uh, every single person in the movie theater is also not white. Mm hmm. So there, there's the setting right there. Uh huh. Have you gotten a chance to watch the trailer at all? Yeah, yeah, I did. Pretty spooky, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'd shit, that's for sure. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Yep. 
<laughs> okay. I watched Smile with my grandfather in a movie theater full of black people. <laughs> he didn't say anything bad, did he? Nobody did. I think my we were all bashful. <laughs> That's funny. I told my brother, I'm like, if we watch this movie with Papa, like just a DVD, like we rented it and watched it together in my grandpa's living room, that would have been weird by itself. Mm-hmm. And then you add on like this different environment. You add in the culture aspect of it now. Uh-huh. You're like, hey, look at this. Now, let me tell you about the movie Smile, guys. You watched the whole trailer, Bert? You got a <laughs> gist did. of what it is? I can tell it's something I would not like. I watched that with my grandpa. <laughs> yeah. That movie looks like it goes hard. Yeah. It's definitely up there with the uh, scariest movies I've seen. Perfect. Um. Now, I'm not... like I'm, When I say, again, when I mean scary, I mean like genuine horror. Like... Just looking at something gives you the heebs. Yeah, you're like, oh, that's enough for me. Yep. So, like, just the way that one chick smiles and shit in the it's trailer just that you've seen. It's unsettling as fuck. It's very, very, very unsettling. So, there's a some kind of doctor, therapist, and a mental hospital thing. Mm-hmm. Movie starts off with her talking to this chick that is just fucking going bananas. <laughs> okay. She's deaf off her rocker. She's having a bad day. <laughs> huh. She's freaking the fuck out and doing like blood curdling screams. So she's had better days. Yeah, I wouldn't really like that, huh? And she's saying she sees this thing and it's all of this stuff. And then she starts seeing it and she's freaking out. And she's screaming and yelling. And the doctor goes, runs over to a red phone saying, we got a patient in here that's fucking flipping balls I need. And then while she's talking, the girl stops screaming. You're like, oh, okay. She's like, holy fuck, get in here. I got some crazy fucking bitch that's freaking the fuck out. And then, of course, she hangs up the phone and she's breathing, staring at the wall and everything. And then you can see her, like, squint her eyes, like, what the fuck? And then she turns around slowly and that chick is just staring right at her with that fucking spooky-ass smile. Yeah. We're talking, like, Momo smile here. Yeah. Meant to fucking make you squirm. Yeah. It was, and the music was so fucking creepy with it. And then the chick sees, the doctor sees the patient broke a vase and has a piece of broken glass in her hand. Mm -hmm. And then slowly, while she's staring at the nurse, smiling, slits her throats and dies. And I watched that with my grandpa and a bunch of black people. (laughs) (laughs) That is awesome. Um, But black people are very vocal. So, oh, yeah. while the scene showed the girl standing there smile, people are laughing and clapping their hands and going, Ooh, like, really oh, reacting to it. So, it was quite the experience. I bet that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, no, it was. And uh, there was a birthday scene where the girl's freaking the fuck out and... um. She's looking at, like, the, the main character is that doctor, and she's looking at everybody in the party, and she sees the girl sitting in the chair just staring at her, smiling, mm-hmm. while everyone else around her is reacting, moving their arms and celebrating and the birthday like, and oh. everything. So the doctor starts you're freaking out, like, you see that fucking bitch right there in the chair, right? And everyone looks, and like there's nobody in there and everything. And then oh, the doctor no. looks over at the chair, and the chair is empty. And it goes back to the doctor's face, and it's like, no, I'm not fucking crazy. She's right there. And then it goes back to the chair, and the girl's standing like two inches away from the fucking doctor, smiling. Ugh. So, yeah, that scared shit out of me. Um, Yeah, no thank you. There was a lot of jump scares in this movie, but they were pretty good ones. Like, there's times where she's trying to listen to an audio thing, and it gets real quiet, and she's, like, doing some Burt shit for the podcast where she's cutting audio and making it louder and shit. 
So it's real quiet, and she's rewinding it, rewinding it, rewinding it. Next thing you know, the fucking chick's standing right next to her screaming. Yikes. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it, it, it really hit the nail on the head for spooky elements, like just looking at it. And that's the shit that I like. Those are the horror ones I like. Fucking, <sighs> fucking jump scares are gay. Yeah, they're dumb and cheap and just like... They crazy. are, and there were some cheap ones, but even Critical said when he did his moist meter on it, he's like, they got creative with it. They, That's they, good. They did. Like, There's a scene where the chick's sitting in a car, and this was a big viral TikTok thing, and her sister's walking towards the car, mm-hmm. and you can't see her head because of the angle it's at, and the sister walks up and knocks on her door, and she's like, yeah, yeah. And she just stands there for a second, and then her head just dangles fucking down like a warm ball sack <laughs> on a hot, sunny day. <laughs> Ew. I see the yeah. imagery. No, it was good. I kind of want to see it again for... Oh, I'll see it. Yeah, for how... I mean, it was it was a good creepy. I mean, it was good. Freaky. Also, I don't really want to rewatch like horror movies because when That'd you know be, it's I feel like coming... It kinda... Yeah. Yeah. It still can still get you, but the, the but the premise of it is very simple. It's you know, again, no it's not spoiling, it's literally like what the movie is about. It's about some curse that makes people kill themselves and if you watch someone kill themselves, you have the curse and then the curse eventually takes over you and then in order for the curse to live, you need to like kill yourself in front of somebody else. I see. So like kind it's not like a demon movie it's more like a curse kind of thing. Mhm. And uh what it, it does kind of possess you like within the last 20 seconds of your life or something and that's uh. when it's fucking smiling all creepily and then um and you're like, "Oh, here we go." Mhm. The ending was stupid. I mean, I saw it coming from a mile away and what was going to yeah. happen and everything. So it was it was very generic. Uh, but the the horror element was not generic. I thought it was pretty fucking good. Yeah, it kind of gave off like midsummer vibes with the music and stuff like that, like how eerie the music was. Yeah, that one was pretty fucking spooky too. That just had a creepy ambiance to it. Yeah, that had like it has like those imagery kind of things, and you're just like. Ugh. Like watching fucking eyebrow kid getting like his fucking dick cut off or whatever the fuck happened. Yeah, I that love shit that. was weird. I'm good. Oh yeah, and then a bunch of fucking old people getting just banged. Fucking old people gang bang. That was nice. yeah, yeah. At the end there. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird shit you can't really unsee, you know. <laughs> eh, I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, you forgot until I brought it up. Like, oh, I don't shit, know. I mean, I was hurt. talking about this with a coworker. Like, I can watch people die, and it'll make me cream, like cream. Um, it'll I'm make me really. fucking not all over, dude. <laughs> They're like, huh? Okay, burger. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the fuck. Yep. So, but like, I can watch like fucked up shit in a movie, and it don't really bother me. Yeah, you kind of have that diso- not dissociation or whatever. From yeah, reality. well, that's what it is. Like, yeah. I know it's fake, but then today I was watching a guy train dogs today okay. on TikTok during my lunch break, and uh, this little wiener dog bit this guy's hand, and the guy threw the dog on the ground. Uh huh. But it was a dog trainer, and like he didn't just like fucking choke slam the dog. He like pushed it hard on the dog ground and pinned the dog there. And the dog continued to like try to bite the dog trainer, and then finally the dog gave up and eventually became a nice dog kind of thing. Nice puppy, yeah. So, but like watching that, like I felt so bad for the dog, and it's not just a dog thing or an animal thing. Like the dog squirming, yeah. trying to get away, and the guy's pinning the dog down. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't like watching like school fights. Like, anytime I see fights, like on I Funny, where people are fighting at a school or something, I hate watching that shit. It makes me so fucking uncomfortable for some reason. Huh. Like, there's a reason why when we do booby time, I don't ask for snuff films or Al Qaeda training videos. Like, I don't want to see real <laughs> training shit. Training videos, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't, I don't want to see that shit. Yeah. But like, I don't know. 
I remember I was talking to my boss about one movie, and they're like, no, people are chained up in their basement. That's too creepy for me. I'm like, you think someone just being chained in a basement, not getting abused or tortured is fucking weird? Hmm. I watch Saw. <laughs> I've seen all yeah. Saws with my cousin. Like that's the whole thing. That's the whole point. That's why I didn't, you know, Cannibal Holocaust is up there for me on booby time because that shit was real. So like when they're slitting a fucking giant tortoise's fucking stomach open and the fucking turtles flap and its flippers trying to get away. Yeah, I like I hate, hate watching that, that. I don't like watching even like fucking leopards chase down antelopes or whatever they're fucking called. Yeah. The little deer. Like I don't yeah. like watching that shit. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Literally, like the stuff that you funny. see in, like, re- like on the on uh, Animal Planet. Yeah, and I I didn't like it. Still don't. Yeah, yeah. I used to think that shit was funny, and then like I'm like, yeah, no, this is not funny. Funny? Like, what the fuck? I know it's like demented Bert Youngin days. It was bad, and then I'm like, no, I I literally can't see that shit anymore. Like even when my my brother and my dad like to trap and stuff. And, like, I, I don't even like hearing about them doing that. Like, oh, yeah, you cut. They're like, yeah, bro, we caught a fucking fox. And, like, and we did this. And I'm like, oh, I and know. We what started they did. fucking it. Yeah. No, they have. No, it's just, it's fucked. Not saying they do fucked things, but just the general trapping. It's like, oh, look at this. The animal's just sitting here waiting to die. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah. I don't really like. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just don't like seeing it. So it just, yeah, it, it's really weird how that works. Like something like literally like this guy pinning a dog down on the ground yeah, like, while I'm it's good. trying to bite him. I didn't like watching that. Like it was very simple and it's very good for the dog because if they don't train this fucking thing, they're going to kill the motherfucker. So yeah, it, it's just weird. So. Um, I do have another movie I wanted to talk about, uh, but before I do that, uh, here's a short message from our sponsors. <laughs> Someday, Bert. Insert here. <laughs> Someday, dude. Yeah. Someday. Uh, did you uh, have anything you wanted to chat about? Anything else? Shit. Okay, so... <laughs> I literally told you, like, get your shit ready. Like, I'm ready. To, I'm gonna be ready. Like, I'm eating dinner. I'm good to go. And you're like, I'm good to go. Yeah. And then I ask you, have anything you want to talk about? And you're like, shit. Yeah. No. I mean, yeah. I watched the new Marvel movies. So that's pretty hype. By new, I mean, um, ten years old. I don't. Remember ten I years new. old. Yeah. Um, literally ten years old, dude. I watched Ant Man today. I literally didn't remember fuck all from that movie. I don't know if you've seen the first one. You know, that would make. A lot of sense. Did I just watch two with you? Yeah, we watched Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, I knew we watched that one. Fuck, maybe I never did watch the first one. Yeah. That makes so much more sense. I'm watching this. I'm like, I swear to God, I know I watched one of them with Burger, and this sure the fuck is not the one. Mm-hmm. Well, that makes me feel a lot less crazy. That's good. Yeah, it's kind of cool watching everything tie back into themselves. Like I remember. They had, like, fucking Captain America's woman and shit in there. I'm like, damn, call back to when he was cool. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Age when he Ultron was cool was because a woman was, what did you just fucking Back say? Back when Captain America was cool, when that was the shit, the movie. Oh, you mean when he was relevant, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm getting caught up, though, finally. I remember I used that shit as a fucking, not as bait. Uh, What do I call that? As a talking point with ladies on Tinder for like a, however long that was. I Maybe that's why you were fucking not successful with anything. I know. I don't even fucking know what to do anymore. I mean, I just don't even fucking have that shit on anymore. But Yeah, you need to just make it and then delete the app and then forget about it for six months and then come back to it. I know. I remember I did that once and it was actually kind of cool. I just came back to like a bunch of shit. I'm like, damn. You came, came back to 12 matches. I came back to, yeah. The shit our cousin gets in a day. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. Anybody who doesn't look like a thumb in a day, it's like, damn, look at that, bro. So, so that's cool. what were you gonna say? I don't, I don't know. Just that that's, no, oh, that would be, that would be neat. What would be neat? <laughs> Getting some bitches. <laughs> 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 I thought you were gonna talk, say something about Boys. the Marvel movies, but <laughs> oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm I'm making way on those. And then, like, I think I even sent a picture or something, and you're like, oh, you're only that far? And then I look through it all, and I have, like, there, there's a lot. Mm-hmm. Like, it's stupid. You like how you just show me one frame? I'm like, oh, Age of Ultron, nice. 
<laughs> yeah. You're like, ah, yes. Okay, so Avengers, uh, Hawkeye. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll click Hawkeye. Age of Ultron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good media. Good media. And then I'm going to get caught up, and then there's going to be like some dumb shit like, look at that, guys. We're done with the MCU. We finished it. We well, got new ones movie. coming out here. Good. I'm so excited, dude. Just everything in the back of my head. I'm just like, fuck off. I don't give a shit about Ultron. I don't give a fuck about this shit. I see Thanos. I'm like, fuck this retard. I watched him die. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just want to see Shang-Chi and Eternals. And you will <laughs> love Shang-Chi. I probably I, will. I guarantee you will love that with every fucking fiber of your being. <laughs> yeah, I probably will. There's so much good stuff. I mean, fuck. No, it was just it was basic. It was just very, very basic. Yeah, it's probably I'm I'm probably gonna get some. I mean, that's kind of how I felt about uh whatever the fuck it was called that stupid little ding dong, um <laughs> stupid little ding dong, stupid little ding dong shit ass Morbius. That was an L. I kind of came came to terms with the, with the fact that that was kind of a mid movie. By kind, I mean very mid. Yeah. Yeah, that was sad. I wanted that one to work out so bad. I think we all did. <laughs> yeah. The entire um, internet did. Yeah, well, uh, Shang Chi had like cool powers, like the things that he could do with his rings or his little bracelets was pretty fucking cool. Oh, but yeah, I'm gonna like that. It just the premise of it was it was so, like very stereotypical action movie. Ah, uh, yeah, that's kind of cringe. Yeah, well, one last movie I wanted to talk about before we wrap everything up is I saw. Uh, well, Netflix released a new movie called Blonde. Uh, it oh, yeah. <laughs> is a fictional account about Marilyn Monroe. And it's almost three hours and it's on, and it's a Netflix original movie. And it's the first NC-17 movie that Netflix produced. I don't know if it's the first That's one nuts. on Netflix. I don't think it's the first NC-17 on Netflix. But... It's the first one that Netflix themselves produced, which I don't think it's saying very much. Um, no. NC-17 is above rated R, so it's basically porn. Or straight again, titties, Al-Qaeda videos. Coochie. There isn't coochie in it, is it? There's so much coochie in it. But not like actual. What actually. are you talking about? No, it's fake coochie. She was wearing a coochie on top of her coochie. Damn, they did that shit? Why wouldn't they just so it's a movie thing? about Marilyn Monroe. There's so much rape in it, so it was a hard watch for me. Mm-hmm. I didn't really like her doing an audition for this big Hollywood director, this old guy, and she's looking all cute and sweet and says, what'd you think? And then he goes behind her, bends her over, pulls her panties down, and starts fucking her. Didn't yeah. like that. And like you can hear him like clapping her cheeks and everything. It's fucking horrible. And apparently she had a ton of threesomes with Charlie Chapman's son and some other fucking guy. Huh. And like like she was sitting there watching a movie in her movie theater or a movie theater watching her own movie. And it goes down to Marilyn Monroe and she has her ass to the side like she's about to toot. Like rip a, rip a fart out. Yeah. And some guy's doing her while she's making out with another guy. Huh. Multitasking at its finest. Sure, and then there was a scene with JFK at the very end where it literally shows her giving head. Like, it shows her hand over the cock and her lips around it going up and down. Like, it's a close-up of her face. Okay. So, and she's saying, don't spit. You have to swallow. Don't cough. Don't gag. You're like, words to live by. (laughs) Like, damn. Dedication. Didn't like that part either. No. She just like, she would look so frail and innocent and pure. Like it was just some girl that was following her dreams and everyone's like, look at the ass on that one. And they just rape her. Didn't like it. That sounds horrible. And the shitty thing is, I'm pretty sure that's probably happened to her a lot. And probably everybody else in fucking Hollywood too. And other work places too. Yeah, there's a lot of bastards in the industry. Yeah. Supposedly. Yeah. And, um, again, it was a fictional account on her life, so I don't really know how you can get away with that, like... Yeah, like I mentioned, it's like fucking defamation or something of, yeah, oh, one well, of our past presidents. It'd only be... Yeah, yeah, seriously. That one didn't sound good, but... 
you know, defamation like is like intentionally like if it, if it was saying it was nonfiction. I think. Yeah, then it would be bad. But like, why would I have a movie where Elvis Presley's like a fucking superhero, like <laughs> a fictional account on Elvis? And yeah, the whole point Superman. Like, of I don't using get it. fictional characters is that they, I I don't know. Is yeah, that kind of what you're getting at? Yeah, like it just it doesn't make sense to me why you would do a fictional like why make up a story about like why make a movie about making up stories about Marilyn Monroe? I don't fucking get it. Yeah, that's kind of gay. Like once I read that it was a fictional account of her life, I was like, "What the fuck?" And they're like, "No, no, 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 no. It was it was based off of a book by the same name." Like, why write a book about a fucking fake story that never happened? Like, okay, I can ask the same question, but switch the fucking media. That my point, my question is still fucking there. Mm-hmm. Like, why would I write imaginary stories of you, Bert, in my head? Probably like, because you're weird. That's I just, the only... I just don't understand. Like, why that? The whole point in a story is for it's that character's story. So yeah, it's no well, longer true. a character about it's no longer about that fictional character. It's about Marilyn Monroe as that fake. Char- I don't I don't get it. The premise there just doesn't make sense to me. Nope, not even a little bit. It's like hey, look at all these, and now everybody who didn't like you know all the birds of the world who just skim over the instructions and that, yeah. that one thing are like wow, man, Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> Really got was fucked. A, gosh, I I just don't fucking get it. And so like she goes to see JFK and he's laying in a bed in the White House on the phone and she sits down next to him and he's saying he's having a bad day and she puts her hand on his shoulder like, is there anything that you can like? Is there anything I can do to help? And he just grabs her hand and puts it on his cock. As a matter of fact. And uh, she's like looks terrified and she just starts stroking it and he's like, come on, baby, do something. Like, come on, get into it. That's like the worst thing. When you have to say that, that's like a fucking sign. Like, hey. Yeah, exactly. Like, what I don't the know. Fuck? The probably look on her face would be the first sign that I would think of. <laughs> True. Um, so it shows her him her jerking him off. Like you don't see the cock or anything, but she's very clearly not playing the fucking fiddle underneath the blankets. Right. And then he like forces her head down on him. Oh my god. And then that's you literally see her face. Like it's the camera's like two inches away from her fucking nose, and you can see her head going up and down while holding the cock, <laughs> holding the pee pee, and um, you're hearing JFK going, "Oh, you dirty fucking slut!" Huh. Nice. And then he and he nuts in her mouth, and she looks up and sees he's he's still on the phone. Huh. Because he was on the phone when she walked in, and he just set the phone down so people are like, "Uh, Mr. President." Pardon me, sir, but... Pardon. Pardon. But, like, he was literally moaning and groaning and saying shit, too. What the fuck? And then he goes and rapes her, and then she gets pregnant from his baby, and then they force her into an abortion and shit. Like, it was a hard fucking watch, dude. What the fuck? Yeah, she had two abortions and one miscarriage in this movie. That sounds like a real family... Friendly adventure. Yeah, no, NC-17 retard. So yeah, anyways, oh, I um, I the thing is, it's one of those movies I couldn't stop watching kind of thing. Like, it was bad, and I didn't like it. Was a train like wreck, it. or? Yeah, no, it wasn't, it wasn't a bad movie as in production value. It had, it had big actors in it, big actresses big in it. The movie was very beautifully filmed and cinematography and all that. Again, it was kind of like that midsummer feel with the really oh. artistic angles and artistic music and stuff like that. Hmm. But like, there was so much like fucked up shit in it. Like, daddy couldn't look away. Takes away from it. It's like okay. It, I I just I couldn't. Yeah, and some of it was so drawn out too. They're really making a point of let's now that it's like uh, the reverse of Morbius, right? You're saying they took scenes out. They're like, bitch, we made this motherfucker NC-17. We're gonna put we're as going much all dick the way in yeah. here as we can. Well, the very last scene of the movie is her feet hanging off the bed. This literally sounds like a fucking Disney musical, but instead of the musical, it's just sex. Yeah, it's like it's a seriously. normal movie, and then it's just fucking just. Yeah. Her yeah. her feet were hanging off the edge of the bed, and it was just her feet and the, the, the end of the bed. That's all you could see. And it just slowly faded to black, and I swear it took like five minutes, maybe two, three to five minutes. Uh-huh. 
So there was a couple of scenes where I just fast forward it till I don't see her feet anymore. What the fuck? There was one sex scene where she was having a threesome with the two guys, and I'm like, I really don't need to see this. <laughs> it's like this is ninety percent of the rest of the movie. No, it was very like there was literally a guy like I just don't understand like I don't understand this like the one guy was laying on his side like with his hand in his head, yeah. you know, just resting it like smiling at her, while the other guy's dogging her, like he's literally just pounding the snot out of her, right. And he's just sitting there on his side, just smirking, watching this dude fuck this chick. Huh. That's, well. She did not have pretty boobies either. No. Her nipples were funny looking. (laughs) Let's pull this up. Didn't like her nips. No, that's not good. They were kind of (laughs) meaty. Meaty? Oh. Yeah. Very pepperoni. Oh. Uh, yeah, so I watched Blonde. It was a tough one. I wouldn't recommend that one. I was, yeah. like, excited for that movie because three hours long. It was artistic. I mean, my Elvis movie just came out. Her and Elvis take place at the same time. I'm this should homies. be cool. <laughs> Boy, I knew I knew there would be sexual assault, like, and, and shit, but. Yeah, I, this yeah. sounds almost excessive. It's an NC-17, I don't, yeah. Well, I know, but... Watching old men rape young women is pretty excessive, Bert. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're not willing to draw the line there, but... (laughs) Fucking creep. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I asked my grandma about her. My grandma didn't like her. did she know her? She's like, never liked her. I asked my grandpa about her, he liked her. (laughs) Yeah, of course he did. (laughs) What the fuck? I, I said something. I Like, I said something off the cuff. I was like, oh, yeah, no, she's known for showing her big boobies off. And my grandpa's like, I don't think she had big boobies. <laughs> Not like Dolly Parton. Yeah, seriously. He's the other one that grandpas are a big fan of, I've heard. <laughs> yeah, my dad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My dad really likes uh, Mariah Old Carey. Dolly. Oh, MC, huh? Mm-hmm. That sounds nice. And he likes Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock is a W for sure. My dad literally jerks off to Sandra Bullock. I don't like that. <laughs> That's nice. Do your parents have any celebrity crushes? Uh, I If they did, I couldn't tell you. Other than my dad's probably anything that... Breeze? Uh, yeah. And is a lady. I thought your mom really liked Trump or was that our aunt? I think it's our aunt as a meme, yeah. They're fucking weird. Maybe not as a meme, I don't know. That was back when I was political and I fight with them all the time. Yeah, they think they're funny. I don't know if you've noticed that. My family thinks they're funny. Yeah, so do you. (laughs) See, but it's funny when I think I'm funny. My mom really likes Patrick Swayze (laughs) and Matthew McConaughey. Huh. I don't know... Yeah, yeah, my mom's a fucking horn dog like me too, so. Yeah. I can see it. So is my dad. <laughs> Runs in the fam. So is my sister. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I know my grandma likes Elvis. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's where it came from, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Real quick, let's uh before we wrap it up, uh let's see what the Elvis movie box office sales are at. True. Oh, did you see that thing saying something about um I don't know if it was a joke. They said the Baz Luhrmann is releasing the four hour cut of Elvis. He's going to. Yeah, did you hear about that? I knew there was one. I saw that. I, I didn't know if they I and I knew they was like they were rumored of, like he was going back and forth if, if he was going to or not. Yeah. I didn't see that they were going to, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. It was just some fucking random chick on Twitter. I'm like, uh, I'm sure Burger's cool. seen this and could validate it if it was real or not. I've seen that they were talking about it. I don't know if they... If it's actually real. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if they've decided on it yet, I should I should say. I see. So how's it doing? Um, It is at $286 million, I think. Yep. Grossing two hundred eighty six million worldwide. Gross. Yep. So it officially made over two hundred million dollars of its box office, baby. That is nuts. Let's see, Elvis movie. 
Yeah, it says he's open to releasing it. Ah, I see. Yeah, it's Baz Luhrmann shuts then. down for L hour cut. Oh, now he's shutting it down. I see. Yeah. Okay. I know he said something like saying it won't be for a long time. Because he's like, because he, I, I saw a hours. video. He's like, he's like, I'm definitely open to it. But the thing is, is in order to do that, like it, you have to go back into the studio. He's like, it's not like oh, it's just fuck sitting that. there. He's like, it's not just yeah. sitting there where there's a four hour cut and you just release it. Like you have to go make the cut. He has over four hours of footage of everything. Yeah, that'd be like me having to go through and edit a fucking old podcast. And this is even saying on my scale, mm -hmm. two audio and no visuals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would yeah, that would be kind of gay. Yeah, so he said he's definitely open to it, and there's probably going to be a right place and a right time to do it, especially if they're trying to push some Oscar buzz or something oh, like that. Yes. So I know he's very open to it, but I think he's not. it's not going to happen anytime soon. Right. So he's definitely down for it and there's scenes in there that didn't make the cut. Uh there's there's the scene where he met Richard Nixon. There's a scene where he's with his first girlfriend a little bit more. There's scenes in there from him singing like rehearsing in the ghetto and everything like that. So there's still about an hour of the movie out there. Cool. And He's definitely open to it, but it's not going to be released anytime soon, is my understanding of it. Hmm. So, we'll see. I know uh, Avatar 2 is coming out soon. <laughs> yep. And they took forever to release that. And did you know Avatar beat Endgame again for the highest grossing movie of all time? <sighs> What the fuck? Like, Endgame beat Avatar, and then James Cameron re-released it in theaters just so it could push it ahead. Yeah. That's sweaty. Holy shit. Like, James Cameron really fucking cares about this record for some reason. <laughs> what the fuck? That is awesome. Which is cool. I like people that care about that shit. Oh, yeah. No, it's Like, good NFL players passion. that'll do things specifically just to get their record or something like that. Yeah. But... It is pretty impressive that Avatar is narrowly beating Adventures Endgame despite multiple, multiple theater releases. Yeah. Endgame is only released the one time thus far, I believe. Yeah, so really they're just showing that they needed extra stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because that was gay. That was in like the fucking height of, height of Fortnite. That shit got extra pushed to all the little AIDS kids. Thanos is a fucking meme. So, wow. Yeah, so uh, Avengers Endgame has about 2.7 billion. That's so fucking gay. And that was released in 2019. And then Avatar is about 2.9 billion, and that was released in 2009. Sweaty. Yeah. So, it's crazy. Damn. We'll see how that turns out, though, ladies and gents. But thank you for listening to this episode of the B and B podcast, episode one forty two. We're just trying to bring a little bit of the family element to the podcast world. And remember, pussies, oh, yeah. it's fucking comedy. Calm down, relax for real. Holy fuck! This is your last warning to chill. Knock it off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, by the way, Bert and I are still 3-0 and or 4-0, and whatever it is, in the Russell Hands Fantasy Football League. So sweaty. Let's go. Fuck Let's yeah. Let's go. Just had to throw that out there. Russ hasn't yeah. come on the show yet. We're working on it, though. <laughs> someday, someday. Someday. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next EP. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for calling Danny's Auto Repair. <laughs> <laughs>